Happy Pride Month, everyone. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Since Pride Month usually increases interest in, support for, and questions about LGBTQ people from outside the community, I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about what it means to be a good ally and how to continue to be an ally even after the parades are over. To start, an ally is a person who has genuine concern for the well-being of LGBTQ people, supports and accepts LGBTQ people, advocates for equal rights and fair treatment, and confronts challenges that LGBTQ people experience. That's great and all, but if you want to be an ally, you might be wondering, how do I actually do any of that? So let's dive into how to be a better ally for LGBTQ people. The first step is to understand and recognize the adversity that LGBTQ people face. If you hope to be a good ally and help combat these issues, it's important to educate yourself about the antagonism LGBTQ people face because of their gender identity, gender expression, or sexuality. The Williams Institute is a public policy research institute dedicated to doing just that. The institute conducts independent research on sexual orientation and gender identity, law, and public policy. They examine the prejudice LGBTQ people face regarding areas like economic hardship and poverty, education, criminalization, and even the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, one report from the Institute stated that LGBTQ adults and youth are disproportionately incarcerated and are subjected to longer sentences, sexual victimization, harassment, and inadequate access to healthcare. And another explained that LGBTQ people face greater risk of COVID-19 illness and other consequences due to underlying health and economic vulnerabilities. LGBTQ people can also be at risk in the workplace. Even after the 2020 Supreme Court ruling protecting LGBTQ individuals from being fired due to their sexual orientation or gender identity under the Civil Rights Act, religious organizations are exempt from these protections and can and have fired employees and expelled students for being openly gay or trans. Conversion therapy, an inherently harmful, unprofessional, unscientific, fraudulent, and overall ineffective attempt to change an individual's sexual or gender identity, is legal legal or partially legal in 30 states in the US. And finally, almost 70 countries have laws criminalizing same-sex relations between consenting adults, with punishments ranging from 10 years in prison to the death penalty. And these are just some of the issues that LGBTQ people continue to face in addition to general harassment and bullying. Understanding these issues and their impact can help allies take more specific actions to combat them. In the same way that allies need to understand the struggles LGBTQ people face, they inversely need to understand and recognize the privilege that they themselves have as a result of being straight or cisgender. Of course, it can be difficult to understand the realities of discrimination without experiencing them firsthand, and perhaps even more difficult to recognize your own privilege. But one of the first steps to being a good ally is to acknowledge your privilege and actively use it for good. To clarify, privilege does not mean that your life has been easy. It just means that your sexual orientation or gender identity haven't made it harder. Now, recognizing your advantages can lead to feelings of discomfort, shame, guilt, or denial, and so can recognizing your own unconscious biases and prejudices. To be a better ally, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You're not responsible for the system, but you are responsible for recognizing that the system is flawed and using your privilege to rectify it. You'll make mistakes as you learn, and that's okay. Making mistakes doesn't make you a bad person. Dwelling on your feelings of shame or getting defensive will only delay your progress. Instead, channel that energy in a positive way. Apologize, aim to do better next time, and move forward. Another way to be a better ally is to speak up against discrimination and start healthy conversations. Even in your day-to-day -day life, if you hear or see something that's damaging towards the LGBTQ community, gently point out the problem and use it as a teachable moment. Speaking up against people who use the gay F word, make homophobic or transphobic jokes, or say things like, that's so gay, can be uncomfortable. But even little moments like that can be opportunities to make a huge difference. You can also come out as an ally. This can be something as big as joining an LGBTQ support group like PFLAG or Gay Straight Alliance, 
or something as simple as showing your support online. Putting your pronouns in your bio or email signature can help show that you're an ally because it indicates to everyone that you will respect people's pronouns and gender identity. However, while it's good to be vocal, it's also important not to speak over LGBTQ people. This is called performative activism and can cause more harm than good. Refusing to let LGBTQ people speak for themselves creates the same problem you're trying to combat. Instead of trying to speak up yourself, lift up the voices of LGBTQ people. Good allies amplify and empower those who wish to tell their own stories. Sometimes this even means letting LGBTQ people speak up for themselves when they're being attacked. While it can be tempting to step in and say something, it may not be necessary in that moment. Remember, the LGBTQ person is the captain in this scenario. Follow their lead and be there when they need you. Another important thing for allies to remember is that the LGBTQ community isn't just white, cisgender, gay men and lesbian women. They're in the community, but they're not the only ones, and they certainly aren't the most marginalized. Trans people and queer people of color suffer from disproportionate rates of violence, homelessness, poverty, and unemployment. So it's important to not only include them in the conversation, but also lift them up and offer them a little extra support when they need it. And there are many kinds of ways you can support them, not just showing up for pride. Pride is great, but at the end of the day, most of the pride parades you've seen are celebrating the anniversary of the Stonewall Rebellion, which I discussed in another video. And while the rebellion is an important part in LGBTQ history, pride is more than just Stonewall, and allies can do more than just march in June. Good allies can also participate in less glamorous rallies and marches that demand justice for LGBTQ people, not just the ones that celebrate our history. Talking to your representatives about bills that affect LGBTQ people, volunteering for organizations that work directly with LGBTQ people, and helping to sponsor LGBTQ events at your school or organization are other great ways to show up any time of year. In addition to showing up physically, one of the best ways to ensure an LGBTQ person's livelihood is through direct financial support. For many LGBTQ people, monetary support is what's most immediately important. So supporting LGBTQ artists and creators can not only help you educate yourself, but also contribute to the well-being of artists who need to sell their work to make a living. I'll add some links in the description to help get you started. And finally, to be a great ally, never stop asking questions and doing your own research. Don't be afraid to be honest about what you don't know. It's important to stay up to date on the issues impacting the LGBTQ community, but that doesn't always mean asking LGBTQ people directly. There are plenty of resources online, and sometimes asking LGBTQ people too many questions about their experiences and personal lives can make them relive trauma or feel like they have to validate their identity to you. Doing the research yourself can help shift the emotional burden off the people in your life who have a less privileged identity than you do. Of course, my channel is the exception. Always feel free to ask questions here. So, to be a great ally, you should understand the adversity that LGBTQ people face, recognize your own privilege and use it for good, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, speak up for the underrepresented, especially when they're not around, follow the lead of LGBTQ people instead of making yourself the center of attention, give special care and attention to the most marginalized members of the community, show up physically to more than just pride parades, offer financial support, and keep asking educated questions and doing research. It's a lot, and it can be overwhelming, but working on even just a few of these tips can help you make huge strides toward becoming a great ally and helping build a better world for everyone. Best of luck, and thanks for your support! And another way to be a great ally is to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, please subscribe. And like. And comment. And click the notification bell. And share this video with your friends. Thanks. Happy Pride! <laughs>